Hey guys, Dustin here, and this is Demon Souls. Uh, I am starting a new walkthrough, and I am doing Demon Souls for uh, several reasons. Uh, the first being, I've really wanted to come back to this game. I haven't played it in a while. And uh, this, the second being, I haven't played it since it was released. And when it was released, I actually I played it incorrectly. And because of that, I did not have very much fun. I And I, I was really turned off to the game because of that experience and I don't think I really gave the game uh, a fair shake so uh, that's uh, one of the reasons that I want to come back to it and thirdly I am an amateur at this game so the gameplay that you see is going to be me learning the game and uh, recently I have uploaded like a Castlevania walkthrough I uploaded a, a Ninja Gaiden walkthrough and I get through those games pretty quickly what you guys didn't see were the hours of like learning the game that it required to be able to do those walkthroughs. So what I hope to do is kind of open people's eyes to the fact that Demon Souls really isn't that hard of a game and if you learn how to use the fighting engine and you learn the areas and you really put in the effort the game is more approachable and, and a lot deeper than people give it credit for. So without further ado let's go ahead and get started in Demon Souls part 1. Hey guys, Dustin here and this is Demon Souls. Um I have been playing this for a little bit. I have gone through the tutorial and I've gone uh through this portion of Baltarian Castle 11 and uh, I've unlocked this this first shortcut here. Um I have wanted to come back to this game for essentially the first time I played it. I picked it up when it was brand new and I got all the way to the man-eaters and I I couldn't beat them and I uh, pretty much gave up on it and at, after that I lost save data and then after that I actually lost the game itself in a break-in. Someone broke in my house and took a bunch of stuff. So, ever since then, this game has been in the back of my mind, along with Parasite Eve. I never beat the uh, Chrysler building in Parasite Eve, so this, that'll probably be another series of videos. Um, but back to this game. I have been watching a lot of uh, playthroughs, and actually going back to what I was saying about when I first played this game, I, I played it incorrectly. I played it the way I would pl I would play like a, a JRPG in the sense of like when you uh, you find a, a set of armor that is better it's simply the best suit of armor. And when you find a, a better weapon then that's the the next better weapon and that's not really the way that this game works you you have to learn this game from okay let me again uh, say that I am also a novice at this game uh, I am this is not going to be the uh, like a, a display of, of fantastic gameplay. I'm not doing this for posterity, certainly. And, uh... Oh, why didn't I get the, uh, the critical hit? That's crap. And, uh... Ah, crap, I lost my train of thought. This is really... This is a, a, a tell of redemption for myself, because I, I want to beat this game, and uh, I want to learn this game, and if you are a veteran of the Souls games, this might be a little painful for you. Uh, like I said, I'm not an expert. I'm sitting. I'm certainly still learning the nuances of the gameplay, and uh, I am also uh, extremely open to any uh, constructive criticism, any uh, advice, all of the above. Just if if you have something you want to say to me, you say it. Absolutely. If, uh, 
and if I do something stupid, please forgive me. Please be patient with me. Uh, I did. I started this as a uh, as royalty, and I, I chose that because royalty starts with a soul arrow, um, and I wanted the long range attack. There's some stuff I know about. I've done, like I said, I've done a lot of research. I've watched. Uh, Uh, I probably started. There we go. Probably started my research long ago when I was uh, watching Mitch from GameFront.com play through uh, Demon Souls. Uh, I've watched Epic Name Bro. I've watched. Um, uh, recently, I've been watching a, a gentleman who goes by the YouTube. Uh, YouTube handle a German spy and he does really good really good stuff uh, and he, he's very uh, he favors polysyllabic words he sounds really well spoken I'm, I'm a big fan of his his work this is that was a, boat right jump. a surprise indeed well now that you are here Pray thee, fend off these dreglings. Uh, yeah, oh, you sold there, all these guys. I don't want to use any fire bombs. I have to say, uh, watching this game so much before playing it, I am, I am surprised at how easy people make this fighting look. Uh, when when I started playing and my playstyle did not match the, uh, the playstyle of the people that I've been watching, I, am a I was taken a aback. Accept this as a token of my gratitude. Thanks, dude. Turpentine. Aggressive grass. Uh, yeah, the, uh, the barrels with the red ra uh, ring around them are explosive so if you hit that with fire they will blow up that's something you have to worry about if you have a, uh, a whoa god <laughs> a dragon weapon like a dragon long sword or something to that effect <laughs> uh still kind of learning to parry. I want to uh, be able to... Oh, man, you got the... What are you doing, Ostrava? Come on. You got him? There you go. Yes, yeah, so, uh, I'm trying to. I'm I'm really trying to learn this game and play it correctly and beat it because I feel as if I I failed before and having not beat it. Um, I feel like there was something else I was going to bring up. I think I'm going to do a faith build. I think. Uh, I haven't finished 1 1 yet, so I haven't even had an opportunity to level up. I wonder if a soul arrow will ignite. Just gonna 
Don't put Strava here with this. Oh, why'd I get your aggro, you jerk? Now I must go. Yeah, I'm not trying to talk to you, dude. Sorry. You're not that interesting. Ah, you're welcome. You're welcome for that backstab. Correctly, it is upgrade material for like hard stones and such. <laughs> okay. So, uh, as you see now, I'm not using the cling ring. I understand that it gives me uh, an extra 25% health. Hopefully, I can uh, get away with not using that during in soul form. Uh, I don't know that I'll be good enough to do that in the later levels that are more difficult. We'll see. I will definitely uh, change my my tactics to accommodate my skill level, however uh, high or low that may end up being. Yeah, as I, like I said before, I want to reiterate, if you're very good at the Souls games, this may be a painful thing for you to watch. I don't know that you'll be able to watch it. Because, I, like I said, I am still learning. Where's that? Nah, we've been there before. totally missed each other. I kind of... I got really frustrated when I played this and played it incorrectly and in such. Uh, in doing so, I, I really ruined my opportunity to enjoy it and watching some of the guys that go through this and they point out the lore, they point out uh, the myriad different ways that you can go about uh, playing this game uh, successfully uh, then uh, I really I realized that I wasn't given this game really the fair treatment that it deserves and I don't think a lot of people kind of write these games off as being too hard or uh, maybe poorly designed because of the uh, the way that the fighting engine works with how you really have to accommodate for animation and you have to be... Ooh, guard break. Oh. I don't know that I'll be able to talk and play this. Oof. Mm, there we go. I wasn't confident enough in my ability to try and parry that attack, although it's kind of slow. Maybe if I run the next one I run into, I'll, I'll give it a shot. But I realized that, or uh, I won't say I realized, but I, I started thinking about this game and it made me, it reminded me very much of Castlevania. I think this actually is the most like Castlevania that any 3D game has been, even including the Lords of Shadow games, just based on the way that you have to play it. Ah, 
Oh, I forgot I don't have a kick move with a rapier. So, hopefully... Hopefully this is entertaining. Hopefully uh, I do well, but uh, so far so good. But at the same time, this is one one, and this is not uh, not necessarily a challenge when uh, you take all of the Souls games into consideration. Hopefully, I'll uh, I'll even have uh, an opportunity to do this with the uh, Dark Souls as well. Got a couple of enemies up here on my right. Because I'm coming in the back way, they had they waited until I got down here to whoops jump down. Uh, Examine corpse, yes, that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, oh man! Still got hit though. If I had been low life, he would have killed me. Keep an eye on my stamina. Ooh, that was way too early. That wasn't early enough. That was a little ugly, but it worked. I figured this would be uh, the best opportunity to learn the parrying and so forth because, I mean, they're not gonna hit me for too much damage here. Day to you. Care to look over my wares? Mostly stolen, but who's telling you? I think this game should uh, be commended for how subtle its uh, its storytelling is. I, I think that uh, you there's a lot that you have to piece together yourself in that. I think uh, it should be commended for that. Be a brave knight or depraved slave. The demons will snatch your soul, then you'll go mad. And those who dare cling to their humanity are hunted down. It is the end of great Boletaria as we know it. But hell, at least the demons don't send us to our deaths in battle. <laughs> Hold it, friend, going so soon. Oh, sorry. That was kind of rude. Whatever. Um. Yeah, it's not many games that will, uh... Typically, a uh, few games is... Very clunky and with this exposition, and this is not. It's told through, you know, normal character interaction. There we go. And you you really have to piece a lot of it together, but when you do it, it it's pretty cool. I'm going to point out some stuff if you're new. Uh, there's this whole line of enemies here, but there's this whole thing of uh, boulders here, so yeah. If I can get that without getting in front of it.
I need to be slower on that. I don't know what these items are before I pick them up. We got two uh, spear knights here on the left. Their Kung Lao hats. Yeah, there we go. I'm just missing that backstab. I need to go just a little bit further to the right. Mm. Let's see if I can roast these guys real quick. did my stupid push move instead of uh, hitting him. Alright, over here behind where these two guys were are where the uh, dragons hang out. Sunbathe. They're not here. Oh, I wonder if that's because of the uh, white tendency. There's a white tendency event that's going on. Right on, I'm totally gonna steal all this stuff then. I'm glad I came over here. Either that or they're gonna show up and <laughs> wreck, wreck my stuff. Cool. See, I am playing online. Uh, I did pick this up recently off PSN for 20 bucks. And it is a white tendency event that's going to happen until the 14th. Examine remains. Shard of Archstone. I think that takes me back to the Nexus from anywhere. Just valuable treasure head. Examine remains. Old moon grass. Touch bloodstain. Bloodstained. Did I say that right? Oh. <laughs> I bet you uh, the amount of bloodstains has increased in exponentially since this has been placed on PSN. <laughs> I bet expert players are, have just been laughing, laughing themselves crazy with the amount of people who have been killing themselves. Or getting killed, rather. Is there anything over there? Can I get up there? So right now, uh, I, if you're unfamiliar, I, until you beat 1-1 and defeat uh, the boss, you can't really go anywhere else. Other than that, you can kind of, as long as you can survive, you can explore the world as you see fit. Uh, I think. If I'm incorrect, let me know, guys. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have these dragons here to kill all these guys, so I'm going to have to do it myself. But I have a nearly... Oh, God, I'm switching my catalyst. I have a nearly infinite amount of magic if I wait long enough anyway, so here we go. Uh, I'll probably... I'm thinking of heading to the Shrine of Storms. After I defeat this and picking up the Crested Falchion. No, no. How do you say it? Fal Falchion. I'll look that up because everyone uh, pronounces it incorrectly, so I use the... Uh, uh, Miriam's Webster's dictionary to look it up and hear the pronunciation of it. And these guys would probably see me by now, except I, I have the thieves ring on. So as they drop dead, they're just kind of looking around like, whoa? <laughs> Soul arrow just went in between all of them and just kind of like, huh, that's crazy. Uh, I guess I'm making a lot of assumptions about people being familiar with this game, but, uh, oops. You collect souls from enemies. Those souls act as both currency and experience. And if you die, you lose those souls. And you have to 
you find your way back to your blood stain, which acts as like a, a your corpse. It's uh, kind of like a corpse run if you're familiar with that that term. And you have to pick those souls up before you die, because if you die a second time, you lose those indefinitely. So if uh, if you are unfamiliar with this, I'll, I will tell you what I know about it. But I'm gonna just assume that everyone is already familiar with this game. It's kind of uh, notorious by this point. This is opening the main gate, not very far from where I started this video. But we are headed this way, so you'll see it later. And that is the first boss. Up here is an ambush. A dreggling pincer attack. Oh, no. That was poorly timed. And that will be something that I probably will say quite a bit during this playthrough. That was poorly timed. That, however, was not poorly timed. So when I played it before, I actually uh, I actually got a little far. I I got the I defeated the whoa oh crap I didn't lock on. I defeated the dragon god. I defeated the penetrator. I defeated the Leechmonger. I defeated the Adjudicator. I just put myself in the corner. I'm an idiot. Oh man, this may not go well for me. Uh, I'm having trouble playing and speaking at the same time. <laughs> Which I've actually heard a lot watching videos on Dark Souls and uh, Demon Souls. Uh, the Tower of Latria was really what broke my spirit with the soul flares and the uh is there anybody else in here there he is i knew there was someone else in here uh soul flares the man eaters Whew, that was poorly timed no fire bombs no fire bombs So there is there there is a lot of demon souls that I am familiar with based on personal experience. It's not all just me watching videos. Like I am, I'm intimately familiar with this portion of the Boletarian Castle just on how many times I had to play through it the first time. Are these magic, are these two magic. I forget what those are called. Uh, the rapier is not good at getting through shields. So when I get to the boss that has a lot of these around it, I may have to use the scimitar. I don't know if I have the, the stats to wield it though. Is there anything to break out here? No. I was facing the direction I was, otherwise that would have ended poorly. Bastards. Um, I'm in the wrong... yeah, I was in the wrong menu. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. 
I can't. I can't with that. Uh, let me. Whoops. I'm gonna look at the. <laughs> this is the part that's gonna be painful for you guys, and I'm sorry. I gotta familiarize myself with the. Okay, here we go. Okay, so it stacks off of strength. I have all the stats necessary. Okay, I don't have the stats. I need 18 strength for the bastard sword. It has what is that? 120. Is that magic damage? I'll have to look that up. Okay, so yeah, I think I'll go with the scimitar. Although I'm not really, f I'm not really fond of the curved sword move set. But at least I can use turpentine. Although I have a considerable amount of fire bomb, so I may not even need it. I'm going to. It's purple flame shield. Look at it. I don't know that I'll be able to fast roll if I uh, equip that though. Let me look at the stats. I don't have the strength for it anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I. The first thing I did. I went to oh bummer, blammo. I went through the uh, the gate towards Executioner Meralda's uh, playing grounds. Oh crap! Uh, and I was quickly dispatched. I uh, it was actually just to the the, the draglings, the Black Shadow back Black Phantom uh, draglings actually killed me. And wow, it was really close to the edge. I don't think I'd die from that, but I need to watch myself. And uh, it, it was pretty much an inevitability after I thought about it, because even if I had got close to the uh, Rushwood set, I would have had to fight Meralda first, and she probably would have uh, killed me pretty quickly. Alright, now this is going to open the other side of the uh, entranceway here, and this is uh, the doorway to the first boss, 1-1. One, one. And... This is already hitting about a half hour, and I'm going to, I'm actually going to stop it here, guys, because I don't know how how much uh, memory this is going to require. Like I know, uh, using G two PO, the cutoff is two gigs, and rendering this at 720p, I just want to make sure that I hit the uh, the requisite mark, and I'll. Uh, check to see how much data this is going to take and um, perhaps maybe make these longer or shorter just depending on your guys' personal preference and uh, just data requirements. So I'm going to end it here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this is entertaining for you. Let me know uh, if you are new to uh, these vi uh, uh, classically due to these videos and you want to give me advice or uh, whatnot, just feel free to hit us up, comment, all that good stuff. And yes, I, can, I will catch you guys next video.